finally I got through that irritating level. You can probably didn't see how many times I did that because I've I've cut it out. Two things to cut out now. In the end I just had to take this off so I could get this off so I could concentrate on the chase. Which is why I've been silent. There she is. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. And uh, aren't you a lingering spirit? Me? No, I'm alive. Like you. Am I? I guess it makes sense that you are. And I stand, or said so you have a lingering spirit to send in the hospital. I thought you might have been one of the bad ones. And you'd figured out how to get up here. No, I'm a friend. I was sent by your nurse, actually. Nurse Hell. My name's Mark. Oh! New friends are nice. But I've known her for a long time. She's my best friend. I think you're right about that. And she, uh, she saved your life by calling me here. How come? Well, you're, what you're doing right now is dangerous. We can only stay out of our bodies for a while and then we can never go back. Oh. I know there's a wound in your body, but... Nurse Al says that they should be able to wake you up soon. She says that a lot. I know she's trying as hard as she can, I like just gets so boring. And he's saying that the spirit forever wouldn't be so bad. You don't want that. I've just met a lot of people in that situation and trust me, they're not happy. Hmm. Will you stay and talk to me then? Just for a little while? Of course, let's go ahead and move to your room though, okay? Okay. So tell me about yourself, Sophie. Mm, well, uh, well, for the kind of was with me my dad. He was not this guy you'd ever meet. He was a brilliant doctor. He was so good. He inspired people all around him to get into the outfield too. He was a good cook. He would make delicious dinners. And every morning he'd make me a different kind of sandwich. He didn't want out of ideas. Oh no, he would find recipes. Sometimes. Just mix something up. He always make an extra for Jenna too. He was very nice. It sounds like he took very good care of you. Yep. And he will again when he gets back. Where is he? It's kind of a long story. So, how long will I be asleep? I don't know. I don't know for sure, Bluebird. I'll be as diligent and quick as I can. Well, I have dreams. Hmm, I think you will. So, I'll have nightmares too. Let's hope not. Why can't I just go with you? Your condition is going to get much worse very soon. The only way I can prevent it is to put you to sleep for the time being. And then you'll wake me up when you can make me all better? That's right. I'm very close to being able to cure you already. I just have to make a trip to a far away place. To the special machine. Okay. Don't worry, it'll be all over before you even realise it. Promise? I feel like it never happened. Are you ready? Yes sir, I'm ready. Very good. I know our time is done. But I will be the sun. I promise. That's something we'd say whenever Daddy had to leave. The sun says every day when it all happens, it always comes back. I see it, who's still waiting him to come back, huh? Yeah, I know it's been a long time, but it's not his fault. He must have just found him needing more time to find the cure. Well, I hope he finds his way back to you soon. If he's not quick enough, he'll sound like yourself. You bet. Maybe he'll tell you better before he gets here. Maybe. She's a nice lady, I know. But I don't think she regular doctors can cure me. <laughs> that is something really advanced. One way or another, they're going to make you better. And until then, you need to stay put, okay? Even when it's kind of boring. Okay. Okay. I will. Mark? Yeah? Would you come back and see me sometime like this again so we can talk? To be honest, I don't have much time left to spend as a spirit. A couple of hours, maybe. 
I'll tell you what, as soon as I take care of a little bit back home, I'll spend as much of that time as I can with you, okay? Okay. If it'll be the sun. I will. It was nice to meet you. You too. Welcome back. Hi. Hi. Must have been a little crazy, huh? Yeah, it was a lot sadder than I expected. Scary or dangerous I'm used to by now, but I feel bad for the lingering spirits. Don't worry too much about them. They've only recently passed. Time is best, and the only medicine for them. That will pull out of it. Also, you may have found yourself to be a little moody as you ascended. The overall atmosphere of the area is determined by its residents. It's going to affect how things look as well as alter the mood of the others who pass through. Did you notice the theme as you made your way up? Anyway, that's good news. Oh yeah? It worked! Well, Sophie's vitals look so much better right away. I can hear now when you talk to her. It's great. She's such a sweet kid. We're going to get a better almost a second until we do. Thank you so much for your help. I'm just happy I was able to. Honestly, I'm a little jealous. So fascinated with all this spiritual stuff, but you okay, really? I don't really get to experience it like you do. Oh well. Say, uh, what's the deal with Sophie's dad? She says he's away to research or something. Yes, that was the last she heard before she fell into a coma. He's been missing for as long as she's been in the coma. Fortunately, he's assumed to have passed. It's a shame too, he was a kind and brilliant man. He'd have cured her, I bet. Do you? Do you know what caused the coma? We're not exactly sure, no. But we figure it was the most likely side effect of the stress caused by her condition. Hmm. She should probably get more information before saying anything. Well, I guess I'm gonna head home and take care of her there, but I'll be back. I'll sleep on spend more time with Sophie. Hey, you're very kind. You don't mind my asking. Was it you have to take care of back home? I feel that I owe you. No, I, no, not at all. You only owe me a thing, and I wouldn't want you to get involved with this anyway. It's the demon, the same one that keeps me out of my body the first time. He's got a fake body and is in my house. Oh, this is great. See what? That's not the quite the way I would describe it. <laughs> I mean, not a demon, but I can help you out after all. Believe it or not, we can banish that demon from the safety of this creepy basement. Oh yeah? In my, the time it will take you to drive home, I could teach you to project your spirit to a remote location you could summon your helpers. You know, the monsters you use to get your body back the first time, then in spirit can do a lot of great things if the world knows how. So I won't actually be there, I don't want to spend up my remaining time to be a wandering spirit. Hmm, but it would be here, but your spirit there, it will cost some of your remaining time, yes. but. I can make it so you can speak with Sophie from your body. So that won't be an issue, other than people thinking you're talking to yourself. That kind of sucks, you know. What's that? You basically turned me into a superhero, but I can only use all of these powers for a couple of hours. <laughs> I guess you're right. So, are you ready to begin? Let's, let's do it. And so, once again, Nurse Hale taught Markiplier how to tame his natural talent for the supernatural supernatural techniques. He would attack the human from afar, using his dream, dreamt-up abilities. 